What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another Madden 22 Ultimate Team video guys The Rams are going to the Super Bowl and so are the Bengals It's gonna be a good Super Bowl. I was hoping Rams Chiefs so it really would be a great Super Bowl um, Personally, it could be a good Super Bowl, but I really think the Rams might destroy them But my guy OBJ is finally going to the Super Bowl after throughout all this stuff that has happened to him being on bad teams. Even though I'm a Giants fan, I'm not going to lie. The 2016 team, it was a good team, but just wasn't Super Bowl ready. And um, yeah, OBJ is finally going to the Super Bowl. All the stuff he went through with the Browns, I'm super excited for him. I cannot wait to watch this. But 100K giveaway is today. Shout out to my guy, Crazy Gamer, for winning the 100K giveaway. 100K giveaways every Monday. If you guys are new, subscribe and comment 100K down below to enter. And a 1 million coin giveaway if we hit 3K by March 21st. Long time for that. Let's get to grind. Let's hit 2K first, though. Let's hit that 2K. And let's get into the video, guys. All my socials in the description below, as well as my Discord. Uh, but let's get into it. Best players in Madden 22 Ultimate Team right now. Um, you guys saw the thumbnail, so you got a little sneak peek of what players I'm talking about. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do a budget beast video. Um, probably in the next few days, depending on content and things like that. But um, budget beasts are gonna be coming. And uh, guys. The budget beast video I gotta look into. You know, I was gonna do actually this video is that, but I didn't wanna just have, I didn't wanna, you know, um, just not really look into it because I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know. Well, I do know a lot of budget beasts, but um, I like they're not budget beasts. You know, like a budget beast to me is was from one to like 100k, maybe even like 80k. You know, 100k is a lot. But let's get into this video, guys. So best QBs, we got Josh Allen. I'm not ranking these, by the way. We're just going to talk about some people good at their position. Josh Allen is definitely one of them. Um, he gets escape bars. He gets gunslinger. This guy's an absolute stud. This guy right here and Derrick Henry are the two best QBs, in my opinion. Him and Derrick Henry, they both get gunslinger, both get escape bars. Obviously, yes, it does take up a lot. Um, Jalen Hurts is definitely a name to be talked about. But personally, I think the Derrick Henry and the Josh Allen are definitely the two best QBs in this game. And also, so the best part about him is it's not only wrong 300k is expensive but it's not too expensive so um yeah i really do like that um tony pollard and ricky williams i think in my opinion tony pollard and ricky williams unless i'm forgetting a running back down here um no i'm not i'm gonna go with tony pollard and ricky williams um i just like tony Pollard's speed personally and his break tackle 95 speed 96 break tackle um power mob 96 speed 98 excel i mean this card's a really really good running back uh ricky williams like i said is right next to him uh where's ricky williams Ricky Williams. So these Christmas cards, these LTEs that they did drop are really good. Um, personally, Ricky Williams is better because they have the same exact speed, better trucking, and the same break tackle. So doesn't have better Excel though, but this Ricky Williams is probably the best running back in the game still. He's an absolute stud. Um, fullback, we're not going to talk about fullbacks. Probably just the Kyle Juszczyk team of the year. Wide receiver though, we got a lot to talk about. Um, you saw one of them already, but... Jalen Waddle, Justin Jefferson. There's going to be a lot of wide receivers, guys. Jalen Waddle, Justin Jefferson, two of the best receivers in here. Good speed as well. I'm looking at speed, guys. I'm looking at all stats. Speed's a big one. Jerry Rice, I'm pretty sure this dude has 95 speed. He does indeed. Jerry Rice is definitely up there. And if you have a Raiders team team, um, obviously you already know to go and get him, but he's insane. Stefan Diggs, absolutely not. He's too slow. 94 speed, not a fan. Uh, no, 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 no. Debo Samuel, definitely a stud. Believe he has 95 speed. Um, I'm pretty sure you may have 96 speed, actually. Let's take a look. 96 speed. Debo Samuel, absolute stud. And then last but not least, Odell Beckham Jr. He's an absolute stud as well. And uh, he's got 95 speed. He's really expensive right now. I wish I saved him. Sold him for a really, really low price of like a mil. And I'm really upset I sold him. Honestly, I can't believe I sold him. I'm an idiot for that. But those are your best wide receivers. Tight ends. Darren Waller definitely up there. I'm gonna just go. I'm just gonna say this right here, right now. Darren Waller and 95 Vernon Davis both have the fast, all the fastest tight ends in the game and can do everything else. Old linemen. We never talk about old linemen. Um, this year the old linemen are kind of done dirty. They don't have really good pass block and run block or run block and pass block. But as you guys do always know, I always say go for the go for the lineman that has similar pass block and run block to their overall. So let's just say it's a 95 overall. 96 pass block 94 run block or 95 run block 95 pass block you guys get what i'm talking about and that goes for the same thing as d lineman if it's a speed rusher um go for 
you know, good speed, not great speed, like 90 speed maybe, something like around there, and like a 95 finesse move if it is a speed rusher. If it's a power rusher, go for a good power move, like, um, you know, 95 overall, 95 pass, pass uh, power power move i can't speak english but that yeah that's basically what it is um and that goes for the same thing as left outside linebacker like <clears throat> for example von miller he is a um power rusher and he's got great speed he's got great power move he also has great finesse move and block shed so like for example von miller is definitely the best out left outside linebacker right now he actually just came out as well uh joey bosa just came out i know he's pretty good the micah parsons i know is pretty good so you know like i said depends on what you're looking for but micah parsons von miller i actually want to see micah parsons stats 94 speed 94 finesse move um that's pretty good honestly i think that's actually really good so micah parsons like i said he's a stud one of the best ones he's really quick too so he probably could play the zone joey bosa could get the uh, get in there quickly but um yeah line uh middle linebacker though is oh this is a tricky position i don't i'm not a fan of the fred warner or the mosley actually maybe the mosley we gotta check that out but middle linebacker a 98 luke keekley obviously um but other than 98 luke keekley oh jay on brown jay on brown jay on brown jay on brown's an absolute stud he's got good speed too 93 speed 94 zone coverage 92 excel jay on brown and luke keekley for the middle linebackers personally middle linebackers is lacking a little bit i'm not gonna lie um right outside linebacker though let's take a look at that oh uh, it's also going to 96 overall here but 96 to 97 right outside linebacker if it ever loads here we go so um lack it a little bit too i'm not gonna lie but i'm pretty sure he, mm, i think brian rack post like 91 speed he is a power rusher though 96 block shot, 95 power move linebackers are a tough position i don't use linebackers guys so i'm not like i'm not expert on them but i don't know do linebackers just don't really look that good speed rusher Derek thomas could be the move Mm, I'd rather Brian Arakpo. I'd rather Brian Arakpo. But he's got 95 power move and finesse move. So, I don't know. Right outside linebacker is a tricky position, if I'm being honest. I'd probably just go with the theme team type thing. Uh, Robert Quinn's not too good. Way too slow here. Um, yeah, li right outside linebacker. Let's go see the 94s. I'm not a fan of the 96s. 94s could top him. I, know, I still have Lawrence Taylor in my right outside linebacker. He's a stud. So, I'm not really sure what you guys think. Maybe T-Sizzle. Joey Porter, maybe JPP, Demarcus Ware. I don't really know, guys. I'm not a fan of the linebacker position all year this year. But time to get into a position I am indeed a fan of, and that is cornerbacks, D backs in general. We're going to start off with the cornerback position. Here we go. Got a lot to talk about. So, Denzel Ward, 100% a good one to get. Denzel Ward, Patrick Sertain. Uh, even, even Marlon Humphrey, he's got 95 speed, so he could definitely be up there. And uh, we said three. Marshawn Lattimore, of course. Marshawn Lattimore, uh, not DJ Reed. And that's it. So those are the three I would mainly go for. Um, also, 95 overall. Uh, what's his name? I don't know. We're going to go look. There's a lot of 94 to 95 cornerbacks that are good, too. But those are the 96s that are good. These are all the guys that I think are the best in the game. So we said Patrick Sertain. Not this one, the 96. Um... Everson Walls is pretty good. I still have him, but Ty Law, that's who it is. Ty Law, I believe he has 94 speed. I believe he has 94 speed. So he's that 94 speed, pretty, pretty good for a 95 overall, first of all. Power him up, he's got 95 speed. And then, you know, um, you gotta get some upgrades and things like that. He's still a little too slow, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, he is up there. Uh Entro Roll, what speed he got? He probably has 94 speed, right? 94 speed. So Entro Roll is up there. Um, a lot of people are up there. The speed on quarterbacks are a little like the speed on receivers are like getting, you know, they're they're burning cornerbacks because of um, because of just strategy cards and things like that. So 94s and 95s, I definitely go with uh, Denzel Ward, 96 speed. You can't go wrong with him. That's definitely the best cutest cornerback in the game right now. I would say is Denzel Ward. Uh, but free safety, Jeremy Chin's definitely up there. Uh, it probably is Jeremy Chin, honestly. Um, let's see Brian Dawkins' stats. It might beat out Jeremy Chin. Let's see here. 95 speed, 96, 95 zone, 96 power move, uh, hit power. Brian Dawkins, I think, is the best free safety. Um, guys, I, that's his 96 LTD. You could always just get the 95 and power him up. Don't come at me in the chat. 
But, uh, ooh, Jeremy Chin is really good too. Jeremy Chin or Brian Dawkins. Free safety is another position that needs some cards. They're lacking, as you can see. There's only 396 overalls. Strong safety, though. Um, one card in particular is definitely the new Derwin James. Uh, obviously, that's not an auction, but you can power him up or watch the MCS streams, which I don't know if that's still going, but I don't watch it. So I would definitely go with... Um, the Derwin James or my guy right here, Isaiah Simmons. For strong safety, it's these two and these two only. No one beats them out. I don't care what none of you say. Isaiah Simmons and the powered up Derwin James to a 96 overall are the move in this game. Um, and guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, we're not going to do kicker and punter. Just get the guy with the highest kick power. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Peace.